You want the honest truth? Yeah. You want the homeboy truth or the yeah, polite the homeboy. truth? Oh, the day I break these chains, I'm bound for the life of the simple things. So I kind of figured, found out that I think I'm going to be staying here in Portland just for a little longer than I thought. So I decided to start hunting for a job. Job stack is kind of what I use. And uh, so I would have shown you what was showing up as available, but I saw this one pop up while I was looking at it and went ahead and accepted it. So now it's not going to show jobs available, I don't think, anymore. Let's check here. Oh, okay, it does. All right, so there's still jobs available right now. Well, just one all because that's it because it's on Friday. Good morning, guys. So it's official. I'm on to my uh, first day of work here in Portland, and the GPS says there's a wreck up ahead. I was trying to be good and early, you know, and looks like I'm just barely gonna make it a, a, a couple minutes early here, maybe ten at most. You know, I'm hoping it. I'm hoping there's at least a lane clear that there's some movement up here. I only have two miles to go and it says 28 minutes. Via Main Street, which saves six minutes. If you prefer to stay on the current route, tap no thanks. Well, the GPS said it found a six minute faster route. We'll see. <laughs> I hope so. Gotta do the grind away. Grind, grind, grind. I do not miss traffic. I was off for almost a month it lasted this time so fantastic really enjoyed myself now it's time to uh, knock it out of the park so I can get back to what I love good old big city traffic and this is me trying to merge onto the freeway it's it's park hour this morning Come on, let me in, buddy. Let me in. I don't want to be a douche and do the run along the shoulder thing and force my way in like some of these cats up here are doing. Well, the job ended up being basically uh, mixing up essential oils today. So I posted a picture over there on Facebook uh, showing me in my goofy uh, hairnet, but uh, this place is doing wholesale essential oils and I was like mixing different different ones. One of the products was like for back aches and stuff like that. And then you have to wash stuff up. That you get soaked because they're big batches. We're talking like 55 gallon drums and stuff of this. So that's what I did today. Um, they're having me back tomorrow. And then he said tomorrow we'll talk about uh, maybe put me in the QC lab. <laughs> okay guys, so Mario told me he had Montreal steak seasoning, but no. You have to get creative now, James. Want to see your, Man, your, your... so let's see what we got here. He's pulling everything he has. Let's see if I can come up with something that's tasty. So we got a little bit of spicy Italian herb seasoning here. We got some peppercorn medley, the little grinder style. <coughs> some roasted ground ginger. And Worcestershire sauce. Don't forget the sea salt. Where's the sea salt? Over there. Where? Then a little pink. Uh, the pink one? You got your eyes in? Yeah, I got my eyes in. <laughs> just retarded. Yeah. Why am I that blind, dude? Oh, okay. All right, all right, so and we got some pink sea salt. Let's see what I can do. <coughs> We're gonna be starting with some ribeyes. So I'm putting uh, Mario on some intermittent fasting like me. So here's the kimchi that I do. So we're gonna go rock the kimchi. So here's your probiotics, guys. If you're wanting to really start rocking it, all those fancy things that they're selling in the stores, all you really need is your kimchi, something like your kimchi here and some asparagus. This is gonna be your prebiotics, okay? Asparagus would be. So there's there's inulin in this stuff, which allows the microbes, 
that are here in the kimchi to basically populate your gut and they're really good microbes for you. So it helps solve things like ISB and all kinds of stuff. Plus, there's some evidence that it helps you lose weight. Scrub down the grill here real quick, close her up, get her good and hot, and make some magic. Got it warmed up a little bit. I'm uh, gonna butter this up for our asparagus here. Then we're gonna take a little Himalayan sea salt. We're gonna put it on here. I'm gonna grind a little bit of pepper in here. All right, got a little pepper on there. Go ahead and dust it with a little roasted ginger. Now I'm gonna let this heat up a little bit better before I go to start rocking and rolling on these steaks. Okay, just a little bit more Himalayan sea salt on there with that butter on top of the uh, asparagus. I'm gonna prep these. Okay, we're gonna give it a couple minutes, uh, let that butter melt all over them, and then uh, we'll turn them over. Need to get us a little uh, Italian seasoning here. Do it upright. Get a good amount on here. Just hit it with a little bit of Himalayan sea salt. Boom. Pepper them on up. And then we need a little dusting of roasted ginger here. Just a little dusting. Time to hit the grill with them. We're all up on the grill. Got our butter going. So as soon as that kind of melts out over the uh, seasonings and stuff, then we're gonna flip them. And uh, our asparagus is getting real close. Put on a little Warshire sauce on there. We got uh, the grill turned off on our asparagus. I'm gonna drop this down and uh, finish cooking up these steaks. Hey, so I am done prepping up our getting skinny food. There we go. We're gonna take some pictures here and then dig right in. It looks delicious. How does it look? We'll see when we taste it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, I'm gonna dig in here. Get started. Gotta do the steak first, you know. Make sure there's room. <laughs> Make sure there's what? Room. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. See, I put this on my story. All right, guys. So this was supposed to be medium. See how it's just lightly brown right there. Mm -hmm. Nice and pink in the middle. Let's taste it. What's the verdict, man? Pretty good for me just making it up. <laughs> we'll wait for Mario to tell us. This asparagus, super good. <clears throat> Absolutely excellent. All right, man, I'll tell you. Okay, man. Nice color, my friend. You want the honest truth? Yeah. You want the homeboy truth or the yeah, polite the homeboy. truth? No, that's good, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to finish up my meal here. Talk to you all later. Get out there, connect with people, live your big story, and make sure you do something every single day to reduce world suck. Peace, guys. <laughs>